Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we will be reviewing this fragrance here, which is the Azaro Wanted by Night. And this for reference is, sorry, I have to read this, the EDP version. This is a 100ml bottle and retails for around the $80 mark. Now, I will repeat myself constantly. If you are looking at purchasing a fragrance, definitely shop around because sometimes the pricing varies so significantly. So just if you want to save some money, which who doesn't, um, definitely shop around is my biggest advice. Now, this bottle, let's talk about it. I don't really love it. I think that this is just a little bit too masculine, a little bit too like almost industrial looking, I guess. Um, and yeah, I'm just not the biggest fan. In When I first looked at it, I was like, what is this? Like I had no idea, but it actually does have a Zaro in the glass here. So then that's how I found it. And then down the bottom, this is just what it looks like underneath. So it's actually a little bit worn off the details, but yeah, that's okay. So the fragrance notes, I actually haven't smelt this. So this is going to be a little bit of a first impression type video as well. So as I said, this is Wanted by Night by Azaro. Now, how it is described on Fragrantica, so it's a warm, spicy, cinnamon, fruity, woody, citrus, sweet, amber, tobacco, aromatic, fresh, spicy scent. So to be honest, reading it, I feel like I am not going to like it at all. It just sounds that little bit too far masculine, deep, woody scent, to be honest. So we have the top notes are cinnamon, mandarin, orange, lavender, and lemon. Middle notes are fruity notes, incense, which really scares me. I don't think I'm going to like it. Red cedar and cumin. And base notes are tobacco, vanilla, cedar, leather, benzoin, iso e super, whatever that is, cypress, and patchouli. So there is a lot in there, again, that's making me think that this is very, very masculine, which those scents are fine, but it's just not something I prefer. So, automizer. Really? Let me do that again. Okay, so it goes really far and it's a really thin mist. It's in my eye and it is It's not what I expected It's kind of thrown me because I was expecting super masculine tobacco like intense The fruity citrus type fresher scent is coming through the most which yeah I'm just thrown because I was not expecting that at all it's actually quite nice you can smell the tobacco coming through slightly but it is in no way overpowering or like super woody or masculine in any way wow honestly really really surprised with this um do i like it i think it's okay i don't think that this is a scent that i would go out and highly recommend or honestly repurchase myself at all it's just not something that i would personally wear or if my husband put it on in the morning i don't think i would be like oh my god what's that scent and like be excited by it but honestly if you're looking for something new to add to your collection I think that this is worth a try because it is probably really different to anything else I have so it's I don't know it's making me curious about it and again I'm so thrown because of those notes I was just expecting a totally different smell but yeah, they have actually done this in a way where it's not overpowering or super, super masculine at all. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried this or do you have this? What do you think? It's kind of coming through a little bit like powdery now. I'm so thrown. This video is all over the place, so I'm, 
I do apologize. I should probably smell these scents before I like spray them, but I do like a first impression video. But yeah, it's not bad, it's not great. Definitely check it out or let me know your thoughts if you have it. I would love to hear from you. I hope you found this helpful somehow and as always, I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Thanks again. Bye!